Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome back. So today on this video, we're going to create a pair of beaver gauntlets, a custom pair of beaver gauntlets for one lucky subscriber. So I want to grow this channel and I want to get to my first 1000 subscribers. And when I hit 1000 subscribers, we're going to do the giveaway of this exact pair of mitts that we make today on this video. So the rules are simple. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel and drop a comment on this video. And anybody that's already subscribed, leave a comment and everybody can get entered into the draw when we hit 1000 subscribers. So let's get started. So the beaver I have chosen is one that we had previously harvested uh, in the quest for the 100 pound beaver. And I got it back from the tannery, one of them. So, and it is a very beautiful beaver. It is a prime, prime beaver. Full haired, zero damage. The tan quality that was done on it is is absolutely amazing buttery soft and we're going to use some black moose leather for the palms so let's get started well here's the machine we're going to use today for this project and it's a bonus never stop for a machine and this is an a machine and we're running some uh, upholstery thread in it and an A12 needle. So we'll take our hide and we're going to spray it down. We just want to dampen the leather so we can block it back out onto the board and get more of a shape out of it than the round shape that it is right now. So once you got it dampened, Hold it up, let it sit there for a few minutes and absorb the water and then we'll block it out on the board. So our beaver's been sitting there for a bit. Now we'll just lay it out. So what we're going to want to do is use our knife. We're going to cut the legs, the leg holes here. Start by stretching it. That's what you should end up with. We'll leave it for a few hours and let her dry and then we'll trace her pattern out and start cutting. Well, we're all kind of ready here to start with our pattern. If I'd use two different colors of markers, we'll use the blue for the actual tracing of the pattern, but we'll use the black one. We need to find the center of here and then we'll find the outside edge of the long guard hair from the guard hair to the belly hair and then we'll mark it all out so when i'm talking about finding the the natural flow of the edge it's like here's all your back fur and then right here it starts changing from your back to your belly so you can kind of make a 
imaginary line like this. And the line right up the center, you know. And you want to put that on the other side of your leather. So there it is all marked out. Now we kind of have an idea how we're going to lay our pattern out to keep everything even for each mitt. So let's go ahead and lay the pattern and have a look. So at this step here, you need to figure out how much area you have to work with. and what way you want to position your mitt. So if we position it here, then we would have to do our thumbs down here. And you can see on this thumb piece, it's marked long fur. That's for the thumbs to match up. So if I was to use my thumb piece over here, the long fur would be this edge facing this way. Then that would mean I'd have to flip and do my pattern this way because you want your thumbs to match up for example here's a here's a mitt here now it was done this way here so the shorter towards the, here's the center of the back right here now we're going towards the belly which would be the way I got the pattern flipped right now and then we'll cut this fur from here for the thumb and then that's where you get these two thumbs here, the thumb and this piece to match. So you can't really see that there's much of a seam there at all. Whereas if you had it the other way and it was all this long fur here, and then you use the short fur of the thumb, it, the long fur sticks out and then the short fur is there and it doesn't blend very well. So I think on this piece, we will do it the same as this one. And the pattern will be here and the thumb piece will be over on the side. And then for the cuff pieces, we can get the two cuff pieces out of here. Well, I'll get that traced out. Well, there we're all laid out. Here's a quick look at my pattern. So this one here is 14 and a half inches long. We're six and a half inches wide here, six and three quarter here, seven inches here, and eight and a quarter here. Our thumb is three inches across this way and three and a three quarters this way. And you just got one piece like this for your cuff. And then one third thumb piece. So here it's all lined out. I keep everything the same. I could have went this way. One like this. And then the next piece here. Except for on the bottom. It's usually nice fur till about here. And then that back end down where the tail was. It's usually crusty old orange fur it's not very nice so we'll go this way and we'll keep each piece organized and we'll go with we'll put the letter a and this will be b one will be for the left hand and one will be for the right hand and we can't get none of our pieces mixed up so what we're using for cutting is a razor knife. You never want to use a pair of scissors and cut this out. It'll just damage all the uh, hairs. All you want to do is cut the leather. You don't want to cut any of the hair. So let's get started. Well, here's our pattern. Well, here's our black leather. I got a blemish right down here, so I marked it out. The rest of it looks really good. So I guess all that we're gonna do
mark out all of our points first. Now I'm just using a white fabric pencil. Just like that. And then yeah, we just start cutting with our scissors on this stuff. Well, there we have all of our pieces cut, ready. Let's organize and put them together. So you want this piece here that we got our marks on. That's for the inside of your hand. So we'll take this side with this thumb for here, which would be for here on this side for the left hand or for the right hand, sorry. So we'll flip this over, there's our mark. That one goes for that piece. All of our lineup marks are very important. So, the next step is let's get over to the sewing machine.
Well, we have the first one done. Turn it inside out. There you got a nice, pretty much can't even tell that there's a seam there. Beauty. Well, we'll get the next side done and then we'll get cracking on the liners. Get Wrap this project up. Here's the second one all done. Just gonna trim all these little loose ends off. Well, we got the major, major part of the project done. They're looking pretty good. They're going to be a really nice pair. I think that black leather goes pretty good with the, for the palms. Yeah, well, we'll get started on the liners now. So we're getting closer. So here's what we're using for our liner. It's a synthetic material. It's very soft, it's very warm. And on this here, you wanna make sure that the flow of the material, you wanna go with it, not against it. So you want your hand to slide in nice and smooth, but you want when you pull out, it's gonna grip your hand so your mitt don't fall off your hand. So we'll set it up and So on these liners, when I go to cut them, on the, on the leather and on the fur, I cut on the outside of the line. So on these ones, I'll just cut on the inside of the line. And that'll give me a, my allowance for my seam.
So all the patterns are all cut now. Time to clean the mess up. Well, there all our pieces are cut. Next step is to sew them all up. Just about done. Well, our mitts and our liners are all done. Let's go and make sure all the strings are cut off. We'll do a little quality control. Make sure the stitching is good on everything. There's no gonna be no hiccups later on down the line. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. They turned out really good. This takes a bit of time. Time and patience. These guys will pull them apart. Have a look at all of our seams. Well, there are one last step, well actually two last steps. We'll put the liners in, we're gonna sew the liners in, and then we're gonna sew a, a rim of leather around the edge. So we're just about done. Well, the liners are all in now. Only thing left to do is sew them in. We'll start at our two seams. Kind of gets a bit messy with all this fur in the way.
one step left. Our mitts are complete. Liners are in. They're sewing in. So now we need to take and cut a strip of leather. And it goes over the stitch that I did. Gets wrapped all the way around and sewn in. And this part is done by hand, not with no machine. So it's a bit time consuming. But the finished product, it looks really well. So let's get started on it. So this next part here we're going to use is a sewing awl. That's how I'm going to stitch this in. I'm sewing through two sides of this, plus the beaver fur, plus the liner material. So it's kind of hard to push a needle through. And this part of the process is pretty time consuming. And I like to start like... Here's our main seam right here. <clears throat> That's where I'll start. Rings even. Well, I like when I use my sewing awl, I use a big needle too. So instead of trying to weave the string back through all the time, I put it on the needle and then it just put the needle in and go. You'll see. goes I'm gonna pull this all the way through now on this loose piece this is where I'll put this big needle So it goes through and then you pull back and it creates a, a loop. Now I feed this through, pull on this, 
this piece and pull here. I'm gonna go probably about a good five stitches and then I'll pull everything tight. So I'll probably pull it tight on the stitch. So I'll pull this way and I'll pull this way. And then my stitches locked in tight. And just keep jumping your uh, clips up forward. And each one of my stitches is probably just probably around a quarter inch. Any of his little hair and stuff that's in here, you can just pull it out easy. From the lining and stuff. start and I'll go back the same way I came.
Well, we got the one done. Now on to the last one. We're on the home stretch now. Well, that brings us to the end of this video, and we have our finished product. I think they turned out amazing. And it's a beaver that we had caught during our series of the quest for the 100 pound beaver. And these things here turned out excellent so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and comment on this video you'll be entered into the giveaway on these mitts here when we hit 1000 subscribers thanks for watching you guys stay tuned